The movie starts with a scene of students rushing out of a classroom to buy food for the school bullies, led by Jae Song and his vice, Song Hoon. These bullies often use weaker students to run errands for them, including buying food, which they use for betting on who will return the fastest. Unfortunately, these weaker students also become targets of bullying themselves. After a wait, one of the errand boys named Jung Woo finally returns as the fastest, winning a bet for Jae Song and making Song Hoon upset for losing, leading to Song Hoon beating up another student named Jong Duk. After school, Jong Duk walks home with Jung Woo and continues watching street fighting matches on his phone, expressing his desire to become strong to avoid being bullied. Jung Woo reminds him that just watching fights won't make them truly strong because they need to practice. Back at home, Jung Woo thinks about an incident at school where Jae Song asked to meet him on the weekend. Initially, he wants to decline the request, but he eventually decides it's hard to refuse given Jae Song's influence at school. The following day, Jae Song and his group gathered the less strong students to make an important announcement. They told them that all the errand boys had to take part in a street fighting competition where they would have to fight against each other. Just like always, this competition turned into a betting event for Jae Song and his friends. Jae Song mentioned that the competition would go on for a whole month and was set to begin on the upcoming weekend. The errand boys felt nervous because they would have to fight their own friends to avoid being bullied by the school bullies, who were organizing this event. At the same time, there was a girl named Minna who was facing harassment from some senior girls who were part of Jae Song's gang. According to rumors, Minna had transferred from another school after being bullied there too. Nearby, Zhang Wu and Zhang Duk secretly observed Min Na and Zhang Wu started to have feelings for her. When they were at school, Zhang Wu tried to get closer to Min Na, but she didn't seem interested in him. One night, Zhang Wu was determined to win the street fighting tournament, so he began training by copying some moves he had seen from professional fighters on the internet. Little did he know, his younger sister, Zhang Noon, was watching him practice street fighting moves in his room, finding her brother's behavior quite strange. On another school day, Jong Wu crossed paths with Jae Song. Jae Song gave him a warning, telling him to win the upcoming street fighting competition because he had placed a bet on Jong Wu's victory. If Jong Wu could come out as the winner, Jae Song promised to protect him from their group's bullying. But if Jong Wu lost, Jae Song threatened to hurt him. Jae Song also asked Jung Wu to meet him in the park later that night. When night arrived, Jong Wu reluctantly followed Jae Song's instructions and met him in the park. To his surprise, Jae Song asked Jung Wu to fight against Jong Duk, who was also present. Jae Song wanted to see how well Jong Wu could fight before the tournament. However, Jong Wu didn't want to fight his friend, so he decided to escape from Jae Song. The next day, because of what happened the previous night, Jae Song punished Jong Wu and warned him not to run away during the tournament. When Jong Wu returned home from school, he was frustrated with how Jae Song treated him and started thinking about ways to get stronger. Upon reaching home, Jong Wu's father told him that his uncle, Kung Mu, had visited. Hearing this, Jong Wu remembered that his uncle had a place for street fighting training. He rushed to meet Kung Mu and asked for his help. When he arrived at Kung Mu's place, Jong Wu expressed his desire to train in street fighting to become stronger. Kung Mu then took his nephew to a training facility and introduced him to a street fighting coach named Ryu. After getting acquainted with Ryu, Jong Wu began training for the school's street fighting tournament. On the day the street fighting tournament begins, Jong Wu is set to go up against Kung Su, a big and favored opponent among the elite students who are betting on the fights. But Jong Wu isn't scared because he's been training hard for this tournament. When the fight starts, Jong Wu and Kung Su exchange punches, and Jong Wu initially struggles. However, Jong Wu finally uses a powerful punching technique he learned from his uncle's training, and with one strong punch, he defeats Kung Su. Later, when Jong Wu meets Kung Su in the school hallway, Kung Su praises Jong Wu's strength and encourages him to win the street fighting tournament. After school, Jong Wu heads to Kung Mu's training facility to continue his training. At the same time, his sister Jong Noon notices that her brother isn't going home and becomes curious. She secretly follows him, but loses track of him when he turns onto a different street. Back at home, Jong Noon sees that Jong Wu has bruises on his body and suspects he's been in a fight. When she asks him about it, John Wu tells her not to interfere and forces her out of his room. The next day, the street fighting matches continue under a bridge after school. In one of the matches, Zhang Duk, who is new to street fighting, faces off against Song Riel. Despite his lack of experience, Zhang Duk wins the fight quite easily, surprising the elite students who had bet against him. After the match, 
Zhang Wu congratulates Zhang Duk on his victory, and even gives him some money since he had bet on his friend. In the following matches, the participants are really trying hard to win because they're afraid of Jay Song's punishment. Zhang Wu is feeling more and more confident in his street fighting skills because he's determined to win the tournament and break free from Jay Song's control. As Zhang Wu advances to the next round, he keeps training with Ryu to learn new street fighting techniques. He shares his victories with Ryu and Kung Mu, and one night, Kung Mu invites Zhang Wu to dinner to celebrate his achievements, along with Ryu and some others. While they're all talking, Zhang Yun suddenly shows up and scolds Zhang Wu for drinking with older men. However, she realizes her mistake when she sees Kung Mu returning from the restroom and apologizes for causing a scene. Kung Mu then introduces Zhang Yun as his niece. After the dinner, Zhang Wu and Zhang Yun walk home together, and he explains to his younger sister that he's been training in street fighting at Kung Mu's facility. Zhang Yun feels relieved and happy to learn that her older brother isn't involved in fights as she had thought. On another day, Zhang Wu had to face another student in the street fighting tournament. Despite taking a hit, Zhang Wu used the various fighting techniques he had practiced and quickly turned the tables to win the fight. Jae Song noticed Zhang Wu's improvement in fighting and became suspicious that he was training in street fighting. However, Zhang Wu tried to hide it by lying, saying he wasn't doing any training. Jae Song seemed unsure about Zhang Wu's words and ordered his friends to fight Zhang Wu. But his friends refused, so Jae Song punished Zhang Wu by making him buy a specific amount of food for him. While on his way back to school with the food Jae Song had ordered, Zhang Wu ran into Min Na. She gave him a handkerchief when she saw the bruises on his face from the previous fight and Zhang Wu felt happy to receive attention from the girl he liked. After school, Zhang Wu met Min Na again to return her handkerchief and invited her to walk home together. During their conversation, they talked about Min Na's difficulties in school, including her experiences with bullying. Zhang Wu was surprised when Min Na mentioned that she didn't mind the bullying. They also discussed the street fighting tournament that Zhang Wu was in, and Min Na mentioned hearing rumors about him being the best fighter. Zhang Wu felt embarrassed and downplayed his abilities, saying that many of his opponents were more skilled. Min Na then expressed her support for Zhang Wu to win the tournament and asked him to stay safe. Zhang Wu felt happy hearing her words of encouragement, and he said goodbye when her bus arrived. Little did he know, Min Na didn't immediately board the bus and watched him walk away. Another day, John Duk got into another fight with a stronger student and got badly hurt. John Wu couldn't stand to see his friend in such a state, so he asked Jae Song to stop the fight. However, this made Jae Song angry, as he felt John Wu was trying to give him orders. He even got ready to attack John Wu with a wooden block. Thankfully, Jae Song's girlfriend stepped in and reminded him that John Wu still had rounds to compete in the street fighting tournament. To avoid losing his best fighter, Jae Song decided not to attack John Wu. Later that night, Zhang Wu met with his two friends, who were also his opponents in the tournament. During the meeting, Zhang Wu suggested that they should stop blindly following Jae Song's orders and start resisting. However, someone secretly took photos of their meeting and reported it to Jae Song. As a result, one of the students who had met with Zhang Wu was confronted and beaten by Jae Song's group in an attempt to find out Zhang Wu's plans. The student claimed not to know anything and said that Zhang Wu was handling all the planning. In the next fight, the two students who had met with Zhang Wu were made to fight each other, making Zhang Wu believe that Jae Song had discovered their meeting. During the ongoing match, one of the students became exhausted and badly injured. However, Jae Song refused to stop the fight. Tensions rose when the injured student fought back with a weapon, seriously hurting his opponent. Zhang Wu, witnessing this, looked at Jae Song with anger in his eyes. Not long after, Mi Na spotted Zhang Wu sitting in the school garden, lost in his thoughts. He felt guilty about what had happened to his two friends, knowing they got hurt because of him. This guilt made him lose motivation for his training, so Zhong Wu decided to seek advice from Kung Mu. On the other hand, Zhong Un also started learning self-defense techniques from Ryu. After their training session, Ryu noticed that Zhong Wu seemed downcast and invited him to his house to encourage him not to give up on the tournament. Ryu also shared his own regrets about not being able to protect his own son, who had also been a victim of bullying. After meeting with Ryu, Zhang Wu reflected on everything his coach had said. On his way home, he was surprised to see Zhang Moon being harassed by a group of girl bullies and rushed to help her. Zhang Moon thanked her older brother for saving her from the bullies, and they had a meal together in front of a convenience store, chatting before heading home together.
The next day, Zhong Wu appeared re-energized for his street fighting training with Ryu, who taught him about submission techniques. After the training, Ryu reminded Zhong Wu not to always stick to the rules inside the ring, as it could make it difficult for him to execute or defend against his opponent's attacks. While in the school cafeteria, Mi Na suddenly walked up to Zhong Wu as he was putting away his tray of food and asked him to go out with her on the upcoming weekend. Zhong Wu happily accepted the invitation with a smile. Meanwhile, Jae Song and his friends came up with a plan to allow the fighters to use objects during their matches. As a result, when the matches resume, the student servants who were competing deliberately brought in various items to help them win the fights. Despite the fights getting more intense, Zhong Wu eventually won the tournament and made it to the finals. To prepare for the final match, Zhong Wu continued training with Ryu, who also knew about Zhang Wu's upcoming date with Min Na. Ryu suggested a place for Zhong Wu to take Min Na. Later on, as Zhong Wu was getting ready for the date, he asked Zhidong Moon for fashion advice on what outfit to wear to meet Min Na. When Zhong Wu finally met his crush at the agreed upon location, he took her to a seaside villa owned by Ryu. They both looked happy, especially as Ryu warmly welcomed them. From that day on, Zhang Wu and Min Na frequently visited Ryu's villa. The three of them became closer, and Ryu even considered Zhang Wu as his own son. Several days passed, and the final match of the street fighting tournament finally took place, with Zhang Wu emerging as the champion. His victory meant that he defied Jae Song's orders, especially since Jae Song had promised to free Zhang Wu if he won the tournament. Sadly, Jae Song broke his promise, which made Zhang Wu angry. Jae Song challenged Zhang Wu to a fight with the condition that if Zhong Wu won, Jae Song would have to release all the student servants and stop bullying them forever. Without wasting any time, the battle between Jae Song and Zhong Wu began. At first, Jae Song felt confident that he would win because of Zhong Wu's slow movements. However, he was surprised when Zhong Wu removed weights from his legs, making him more agile and able to dodge Jae Song's punches. Zhong Wu also used locking techniques he had learned from Ryu and defeated his opponent until he was badly hurt. Just as Zhong Wu lost control and continued to attack Jae Song relentlessly, Ryu arrived and stopped Zhang Wu's actions. After that incident, the bullying at school finally came to an end, and Kung Mu's martial arts training place became more popular as Zhang Wu's friends joined the training. Meanwhile, Zhang Wu and Mi Na became closer. At the end of the story, Mi Na was approached by female bullies from her previous school. They tried to belittle her for transferring schools after experiencing bullying. Calmly, Min Na reminded the bullies that she was not a victim, but someone who had bravely stood up against bullying at her previous school, which led to her transfer. Upon hearing this, the bullies fell silent in fear as they watched Min Na walk away with a sharp smile. Moral lesson from the story, the best way to win a fight is to invite your crush on a seaside date with your new martial arts coach, and the secret to defeating bullies is having a killer smile as you walk past by them.